guys, it's Target Cycling FTV, and I'm actually getting ready to do something here, a little test here. Uh, and so I want to, let me go and make some changes though. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm working on a radio. Let me just show you when we're on since this thing wants to start yapping. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I had a customer write me and say he ordered three of these three sky uh, nano receiver V2s, and actually full speed RC, or the aimless RC is the one who makes these. Um, so um, he couldn't get them to bind. So I said, okay, look, he's using a QX7. I said, look, I'll get my QX7. So I've got my QX7 here. This is the one we did in the video a couple days ago where we did the full install on this. And there's a whole video, brand new video set on that. So uh, I decided I'm going to use this one. I've already updated it. And I'm going to go ahead and try to um, bind, right? So here's what I've done. Binding is easy. I don't need to use any uh, S bus. Uh, I don't need any kind of S bus interface soldered or anything like that. All I need is my positive and my ground. And based on this receiver that he's got, if you're looking at it with the antenna upside down, uh, towards the bottom, the 5 volt is at the uh, top part and the ground is in the middle. The S bus is actually at the, on the rail on the other side, okay? So I'm going to flip it over though because I need to press this bind button and what I'm going to do to power it is I'm going to use this toolkit RC, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to boot it up into bind mode by holding the bind button down. And my toolkit RC I think needs firmware update because it has, sometimes the screen comes on, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to do a firmware update on it here just a little bit. So I'm going to hold the bind button and we should see a solid red light. So here it goes, bind button, hold. Okay, we are into a solid red light, which is right there. I think you guys can see that. Okay. All right, so while the light is solid, I've got my model here. I'm gonna press page to go into it. And I'm gonna make sure that on my internal RF, I've got it selected to XJTD8. And then I'm just gonna to go to bind and I'm gonna hit bind. And we should see something happen. And we do. We have a blue light now blinking. Okay. So that blue light means we've bound. So we can hit enter and we can exit and we can exit. We should, when we restart this, should get RSSI. Okay. So here it goes. Give it a second. Wait for it. And there we have RSSI. Okay. So this is how you bind that. I mean, that that's it. So I would be very careful to make sure that you've got the right XJT firmware on there. Um, and I believe in this case, I'm running the XJT 1.3, I think is the version. I don't, it's not 2.1.0 or else you would never be able to access it because you have to have your receivers doing that. So make sure, and here, let me show you something on that. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to the computer real quickly and I'm going to go to the um, FreeSky website. I'm going to take you there. So here's what you'd have to do. If you're having a hard time with this, the first thing that I would encourage you to do, if you're running an ACCST, uh, radio like I am okay if you're running an access radio you have to have an XJT module on the back to be able to run D8 mode okay or D8 so look what you want to do though is if you're running an ACCST uh, radio you have the option you need to go to the FreeSky website and I'm running a QX7S but you can go QX7 whatever it is you need to go to the firmware XJT RF module uh, drop down and you need to click right here where it says download because if you try to load this it's not going to work right um, because this is very specific to FreeSky this is when it became proprietary and you cannot have a receiver work with this that does not have the 2.1 version loaded. None of these will. Only FreeSky receivers will. So you have to click this download here. And when you click this download, that'll bring you back to the old versions uh, for your XJT module. <coughs> Sorry, for your RF module, your internal RF module where you can run your D8. So again, two things. One, make sure you have this firmware loaded, the older firmware, which you can get from this link. And number two, make sure you're not running an access uh, radio uh, and uh, trying to do this somehow without an XJT module. And if you have the XJT module, then you would have to go here, products. I'm just going to go do it real quickly because you would still have to download the right firmware for the XJT module. So if you go to modules and you go to the XJT, now it's XHT. Let's just click view all. Okay, so you would need this module if you're running QX7, which I know he is. You would need this, and then you'd have to go to your download. And you see where there's firmware here? That's the ACCST D16. You would have to go back and load this one as well on your module if you're running an access radio, because you have to have the old firmware for the uh, XJT module, okay? All right, so once you do that, guys, that's the video. That's how it works. It's very easy. Uh, there's really nothing to it. There's no pushing buttons or anything else. You just, I mean, as far as like having to change it or anything, you're set, okay? So hope that helps for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, you can uh, please uh, head over to our YouTube, or sorry, our Facebook groups uh, and post some questions there. We're always there to help you out. And then as always, please 
please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, uh, it is now 7.48 in the evening on January 22nd, 2021. I would like to say hello to all my three boys there, Ashton, Landon, and Jaden. I love y'all. I wish uh, y'all have a great weekend. And to my son, Ashton, who is 14, about to turn 15 in, uh, on Sunday. Uh, I, am, I am very excited for you, bud. You, have, you, have, you continue to fight the odds and kick butt, and I'm very proud of you. And to your brothers, the same thing. I love you guys very much. All right, guys. For you guys who do have your family with you, please go spend time with them. You always have time to fly. There's always time to do whatever you need to do, but you never know how much time you have left to give them hugs, all right? So go spend some time with them and fly later. Talk to you all later. God bless. Peace.